Sorry, could you hello? sorry, could you start again please? Yeah, hi, so this is Jenny. Hello. And I'm calling you from the computer maintenance department. Okay. In regards to the computer. Right. Any reason? I'm calling you from the virtual PC doctor. The virtual PC okay. doctor, okay. Yeah. Um, this call is in regarding the computer. Right, what about it? So I believe so you have a computer or a laptop with Windows operating system, like XP, Vista or Windows 7, right? Right. So, so this is just an awareness call to make you aware about the corrupted files or malicious junk files which are getting downloaded unknowingly whenever you browse the internet, send or receive emails, or whenever you download any stuff from the net, okay? Okay. And this is just a routine health checkup call for the computer where you can check by yourself whether the corrupted files are there in the computer or not, all right? Okay. Seems so fair sir, enough. are you in front of your computer right now? Um, no, I'm on the phone. Um, do you want me to? Yeah. Do you want me to go to the computer? Yeah, just go ahead and turn on the computer and just be on the normal screen. All right. You'll be check. You'll be checking out by yourself whether the corrupted files are there in the computer or not. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's give it a minute to switch on. Okay, so is it XP Vista or Windows 7? Yes. I'm sorry? Yes. What is it? Which operating system is it, sir? Is it XP Vista or Windows 7 that you are using? Yes, it is. Yes, it is XP Vista or Windows 7. I'm asking you whether which version of Windows you are using, sir. Is it XP Vista or Windows 7? I'm telling you, yes, it is. All right, you're wondering which, which, which operating that system means, actually is. Um, that, means, that means you're using three computers. Um, yes, actually, I've got, I've got a few. Yeah, I've got, I've got like, I've got like a desktop here, and I've got a laptop as well. Okay, you got laptop as well as the desktop. Okay. Yeah. Good, now, are you in front of your laptop or else your desktop? The desktop which is running Windows 7. Oh, Windows 7, all right. Yeah. That should be a booted up in just a second. We'll just password. Okay, once you're in your normal screen, just let me know, sir. Okay. okay. Like I said, it's a bit slow booting up these days. There we go, that's a bird. Yeah, it's just it's just like it's just like loading up all the drivers and stuff first though, so it's gonna be another minute or two before I can actually do anything. Oh. So once you get the normal screen, so you can just let me know. Okay. You there? That's it, ready? Yeah, sir. You can see you can see the normal screen. Yep. Okay. Can you see start on the extreme left hand side corner? Yes, I can. Okay. You can see a bunch of information, sir. And apart from information, do you see any red circle? 
Our yellow triangle. Apart from the information, sir, you need to scroll down slowly. Okay. And just let me know if you can see any red circle or yellow triangle. Mm. A couple, yeah. Yeah, you can't see that. I can, I can see a, f a few, yeah. You can see a few. Okay, you need to scroll down, sir, to the bottom. Okay, and just give me a rough count, like how many are there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, wait a second. Are you want me to count the the red circles and the yellow triangles separately, or um, or all together? Yeah, you can just give me a rough count, sir. Like how many you have seen so far? Is it two, three, four? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to start again. Actually, sorry. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm sorry. I get the feeling you're about to tell me. Okay. So, sir, like this are, uh, you know, these are the online electronic infection files which are getting downloaded unknowingly from the internet, okay? Okay. And so, you can see whenever you go online or browse the internet, you'll be receiving some kind of error, like the send error report or do not send error report, okay? Are you back to your normal screen? Yep. Okay, just give a click on start. Okay. Start. Okay, and then, uh, okay, and on the right hand side panel, do you see the option called run? Yes. Okay, just give a single left click on run. Okay. And then, sir, you'll be finding um, a small box called open, and near open there will be a white box where the black cursor is blinking. Mm-hmm. Okay, is the box empty? Yes, it is. Okay, so you, would you like to like see the like the ID number which we have got of uh, your computer is, uh, you know, correct or incorrect? All right. Would you like to see that? Okay, no worries. You can just put in the number, uh, like the CMD there in that box. That's the command from window. That's C for Charlie. Okay. M for Michael. N for Mike. Oh, M for Michael. And D for Delta. And D for Delta. And then click OK. OK. So you'll be on from window with a username. That's your name, OK? If it's there, if you have saved it. OK. Is it, is it the black box you can see there? It's. It's a DOS window. It's all retro. Yep. It's, Sorry? A, it's an old. It's an old DOS style command viewer. It's all retro. Yeah. So you can see after the username, after the documents and settings, there is a, a white cursor is blinking. Yep. It will do that. Okay. You can just right there. It's A for Apple. Uh. Okay. S S for sugar. S for sugar. S for sugar. S, yeah, if you just said that. It's at A, two S, okay? It's A, S, S, O for orange. O for orange. And C for Charlie. Okay. And then press enter. And you'll be seeing a list of files coming down. Okay, just a second. So once it gets stopped, you can just let me know, sir. Okay? Actually, I'm getting an error. ESOC is not recognized as an internal or external command. Okay, where did you put the ex actual word, sir? Next, next to the username. Okay, like, uh, there should not be any kind of space, sir, over there. Okay? 
Okay, I didn't put any space, I just typed in SOC. Okay. It's A for Apple, S for Sugar, S for Sugar, O for Orange, C for Charlie. Oh, A. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm I'm hard. It's A for Alpha. Okay, it's A for Alpha. All right. Okay. Okay. Now you can press Enter and just let me know. Can you see the see, uh, list of files is coming down? Can you press Enter now? Yep. Long list of files. Too numerous to mention. All right. Now, once it gets stopped, it let me know, okay? And you'll be finding the second last line, the computer ID number. What, what, whereabouts would the ID number be? I'm sorry? Whereabouts would that be? Okay, that is in the second last line, uh, just above the documents and settings. Can you see the CLS ID? The computer ID number? Yep. It's uh, 888DCA. You just need to check it out. It's, is it matching or not, sir? Is it 888DCA60 FCOA 11CF 8FOF OOCO 4FD7 DO62? Yes. I'm sorry? Yes. Matching, sir? And there is a hyphen, like that uh, four hyphen is there in between the number, okay? Yes, there are four hyphens. Alright. So, you can see, sir, we have uh, we are receiving quite a lot of error information from this ID number, okay? And for that reason, we have, as your computer has been registered with the name of... Alright, now, sir, what can you see next? Just let me know. Um, error page not found. Your your computer may not be connected to the internet. <sighs> that, the that, that, computer that, is not connected to the internet. No, it currently isn't. Uh, like I said, I switched the router off earlier. Just a second, I'm going to have to go switch it back on now. Okay. Right. It's kind of, it's kind of obscured away but like, it's in the... Yeah, back sir, you can just try and uh, just give a click on OK once again, if it's connected... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not back, I'm not switched on yet, I've got to like... Okay, okay, you have turned off your computer? No, I've not turned, I've not turned it off, like, should I? Oh uh, yeah, you just turn off your computer and then restart, okay? It will get refreshed. Okay, but like, I've not, I've not, I've not turned on my router yet, so like... I just need to go do that. Okay, I'm back. It's a bit messy now, but I've I've turned it on. Yeah, so just turn on and try and turn on your computer now. Okay. That's gonna take a couple of minutes again, so I'll be back with you in a, in a minute. Uh, after giving a click on connected technician, what can you see after that? 
Hang on a second. Can you see logmeinrescue.exe or logmein.com? No, like I said, I click on the I click on the button and nothing's happening. Nothing is happening. And so you should see the options, sir. The right options, such as save, run, or cancel. No, nothing's coming up. Nothing is coming up. No. You can't see any icon. Uh, okay, you can do one thing, sir. Just minimize the page down. Just minimize the support connection window down. And just have a look on your, you know, the computer screen. There's a, there will be a blue background with a white cross. Okay, whereabouts? And on your desktop screen, sir, on your desktop screen, there will be a blue background with a white cross where it's written there, uh, support log me in rescue. A blue background with a white cross? What? Y yeah. No, seriously, I've no. You can't see that? No. Okay. So, sir, which home page do you use? Is it the Google Chrome, Mozilla, Firefox? Um... Or the Yahoo? It's... Which home page, uh, which browser do you use, sir? It's the Google. It's Google. Okay, no worries, sir. You can just close this page down and log into your Google home page. Okay, so go into the Google. Uh, yeah, close down each and everything and then log into your home page. Okay. Now what? Now uh, uh, you can just log into your home page. So once the home page will be up on your screen, just let me know. Found, found 1.1 billion results for support.me. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. The second, the second one says something like. The unstoppable tech support scam. What's this? I'm sorry. The second one's uh, linked to. The second result says the unstoppable tech support scam. Unsupport tech. Yeah. What you're talking about, sir? I type. I type support dot me into the Google, and the second. The second result says that this is some kind of a tech support okay. scam. Uh, like. Like, let me tell you. Did you put that cock in the Google search or in the search engine box? I put it into the Google. It's not in the Google, sir. It's in the search engine box. Okay, but I put it into the Google box and it's coming up with a result saying that this is some kind of a scam. Okay, you can just get anything on the Google, sir. You can just put Microsoft scam, Windows scam, you'll find it and everything scam over there. All right. If you can sp put my name as Jenny Fairham, it will find out a scam. If you put G as a scam, you can you can also find the scam over there. Okay, but how do I know this is not a scam, though? Well, sir. Okay, no worries. I'll tell you. I'll t uh, I'll just show you our website our website address. Okay, so you can just put the code in that box. It will be 748. Okay. 109. 748109. Right. And then if you see run, save, click on run. What do you see? The same thing, it's just like the site, there's no download box or anything coming up. Okay, download box. So do you see download complete? No, there, there isn't a download box coming up. There's only a download box has come up, okay. Do you see download box? No, a download box isn't, isn't coming up. Nothing's happening. Nothing is happening? No. Alright. Okay, just be in for, hold for a second, sir. Hello? Uh, hello? Yeah, hi sir, this is Jason and I'm the senior supervisor here. So what you can see in your screen, sir, will you please tell me? 
Um, that, sorry, I closed. I closed the window because um, I wasn't working again. Mhm. So I'm. I'm just back on the have, desktop. So have you given a click on connect to technician? Yeah, and it didn't do anything. Okay. You one thing. Give a double left click on connect to technician again. All right. Okay. Okay, still nothing. Sorry? Still nothing. Nothing. Oh. Nothing. Nothing's happening. Nothing. Nothing's happening. Alright. You have you are not getting any options like one continue, yes, save. No, nothing like that at all. Alright, look at the bottom of your computer screen, alright? Okay. So have you got any log me in rescue exe something like that log me in rescue? No, I haven't. You haven't. Like I say, right. it's literally not downloading you, whatever you it is. You just delete that code. I, I'm like to tell you that your system is very much infected. That is why the code, the security code which I'm giving you, that code is getting expired. So I'm going to give you one of the securest and the strongest code right, right now. All right. Right. Now I just delete the old code, I'm going to give you a new one now again, alright? Yes sir, I have got your code. Okay. Just put the new code, sorry? Okay. Yes, and just put the new code there, it's one seven. One seven. Seven two zero. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, could you start again? What happened? Uh, can you hear me properly now? Uh, yeah, I can hear you now. Now, uh, the, the code is 172014. Okay. Alright, and can you give a click on connect to technician? And surely you will get the option now. Um, no, still nothing. Nothing happened. Nothing's happening. Okay, I didn't know what, so, why it's happening. You're saying it's a result of the corruption? Uh, no, sir, not a lot of corruption, sir. This is one of the identification number. So you just do one thing, just simply close down that page right now. Alright, go to the normal screen where you can see your icons. Okay? Okay. Close down that page and give a click on start. Start. Okay, and look at the right hand side, bottom there is a run option, R U and run, give a click on run. Okay. Alright, and I believe that www.support.me is written over there. Yes. Make it blank. It is gone. Alright, now type there, www. Mm-hmm. Alright www dot A as in alpha A as in Yes, M alpha. as in Michael M as in yeah. Michael. M as in Michael again and Okay Y as in Yankee Y as in Yankee Y as in Yankee This is this is remote control software. Like, why would I want to? Why would I want to download this? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to get the access of your computer to give you a short scan to find out the major problem from your computer. That I'm just going to connect you your computer to our Microsoft certified technician computer to give you a short scan and to find out the major problem. And everything will be in front of your computer and in front of your eyes, so you no need to worry about that. And we are not authorized to touch any kind of your personal information and personal details because you are in a recorded line. All right. Yes. Um, the thing, the thing, the thing is, though, like I generally, I generally wouldn't want to give anyone else control of my PC, like even if they do say yeah, they're a technician. You are absolutely right on your way, sir. But let me tell you that, as you have already seen that, you, your computer generating a lot of errors and warnings. One error and one warning can cause the hundred application of your computer. Errors and warnings are very much harmful for the computer. So. 
we have to give you the technical support because we are we give the technical support to windows and dell computers Again, nothing's happening. No, sir. It, it can't be possible. When you give a click on that it starts working with AMI admin, you must give the option like run or save. It, it seems that you are not given a click on that. Because I am also a Microsoft certified technician here. See? Oh. Alright? I, I, I thought you cut off there. Um. Now, give a click on that green box, green thing. It starts working with um, the admin. Okay, it's 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 not giving me a download thing at all. Okay, give a click on run. On run? Okay. No, sir, give a click on download, download. No, I'm not getting a download window, like, at all. Okay, give a double left click on that. It starts working with um, the admin again. Try to give a click on that. Hello. Hello. So I think are you making a fun out of me here? Oh, absolutely not. No, sir. I am thinking like that right now. You are get, you are giving a click on connect to technician. You are not finding any option. You are giving a click on start working with Ami admin. You are not getting any option. Your computer is not God gifted or what? Yeah. Funny that. I'll tell you one more thing, sir. If you have any queries or questions. All right, you can ask me. Don't waste my time. I understand. Uh, I have to give you. Uh, we have to give the technical support to lots of computer. We are very, very busy over here. If you are not satisfied, then you can just hang up the call. Okay. In that case, if you're going, if you're going to hang up just now, then I might as well just let you know that I know you're a blatant scam, and I'm not clicking on you. It's scam. It's scam. Yeah. It's I think you're a scam. scam. No. No. Uh, what do you know about the scam? Quite a lot. I know that they cold call people, they make up all kinds of stories about computer errors, and then they hijack control of your computer and hijack your bank details. Can you think of anyone like that? You know, my thing is that I will just press three buttons from my keyboard from here right now, and I can hack on your computer all the information. Oh really? I have, I have that much ability. You but can do that. Sitting over, yeah. We are not <laughs> sitting over here to hurt on your uh, your personal details. We are here to protect your computer and to make you aware about your computer problem. Okay. <laughs> you sure, but you just threatened to hack me. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's play the game then. All right, let's play. Just keep pressing the enter button right now from your keyboard. Keep pressing enter. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Keep pressing enter button along with pause break. Along with pause break. <laughs> yes. Okay, and why would I why would I want to do that? Well, you just do there and you will get the things in front of your screen then. You will feel something, okay? Just Press enter button along with pause break. All right. Okay. And what's that meant to do? Yeah. You just see from your own eyes. Just keep pressing. All right. Simultaneously both the button at the same time and don't release. Okay. Okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. Have you got anything into your computer screen? Some error? Uh, no, nothing's happening. Nothing happening because you are not doing that. You don't. You think that I'm stupid, but I'm not. You are yeah. thinking that. You and are. you think that I'm stupid. What's the point? Yeah, absolutely. You are stupid. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> you have just been on the line to me for an hour. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Yes, sir, you... Uh, 
Yeah, I told you like you were not satisfied whatever I have shown you, the website address and everything else. No. I have shown you the corrupted files. It's not that so we have put in that corrupted files in your computer. You have put the corrupted files in my computer now. <laughs> oh. Who, who told you that? <laughs> well, you just said that, didn't you? Or could I not hear you over the blatant scamming? You are not being scammed. Who told you that you are being scammed over here? Oh, isn't it obvious? So, you're not interested, right? <laughs> nah, I quite like having my own bank details and my own control over my own computer. And, no, you I'm can't have them. I'm not for any kind of bank details, sir. Oh, no, you haven't got to that bit yet. That comes later. Okay, now let me tell you something about your computer. Now, we have taken each and everything. That's the reason I asked you the ID number. Okay. Now I have the ID number with us, so now what I'm going to do with your computer, just wait and watch. And now after half an hour, what happened to your computer, just you can see by yourself. Okay? So. Like I said, the ID uh, number is the ID number of every computer. Every Windows computer has the same ID number. The same ID number, and again, after that, I have got your the username and the password, okay? And then what I can do with your computer is you can just have a look after one and hour what happened to your computer, okay? Okay, and why can't you do that immediately? Good luck, good luck, okay? Bye-bye. Okay, and why can't you do that immediately? I believe that you are a technician, am I right? I'm actually a programmer. Sorry? I'm actually a programmer. Uh, I think that you are a technician and you know a lot of things about computers, am I right? What's your point? Okay, so the, the thing is, you, you know how to hack computer? Mm -hmm. I, will get, I, will, I, I will show you that, how to hack a computer. I mean, so I, I myself is a Microsoft certified technician, so... <laughs> Look into your computer keyboard, okay? You're behaving very, very professionally. Uh, 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 Alright, whatever the thing is, just look, look into your computer's keyboard. <laughs> I will just tell you two things, alright? If you will do that, your computer can blast down in front of your eyes. Do you want to see that? <laughs> you know something? Um, I'm not at that joking, okay. Yeah. You can see the ESC escape button at the top left hand side. Mm hmm. Yeah, you, you just need to press that escape button, alright, all and don't release. Okay. Alright. Now, uh, I believe that your left hand it is in the escape button and you just keep pressing it. Do not release it, alright? Oh sure, uh, like I'm gonna do that. Uh, oh sure, all right. Okay, uh, and now look at your right hand side, in your right hand. Uh -huh. Put your finger in your ass and keep shaking. Your computer will flash down. All right. <laughs> Have a nice day now. Bye. You're very easily amused, aren't you?